Welcome once again. I want you to join me in 2016 on the BlackSuccessAcademy.com network. It's a new network I've launched, and in 2016 there will be a health and wellness channel, and you'll be able to see many of these interviews. And today I have one of my new favorite pastors, Pastor Janet Odom Bell. Bell, 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 Bell Janet Odom. Bell, Bell Odom. <laughs> That's all right. Dr. Pastor Odom, how about that? I call you what I normally call you. That works. <laughs> You're so pretty. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You are too. Thank you. You know, you shared your breast cancer story once with us, and it moved the church to tears. I want people to see a woman who has gone through the fire. Tell me about your story, if you can, in a synopsis format. Oh, I found out in 2008 that I um, had, um, was, I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer in 2008. Um, and uh, within a few months I had, a, I had surgery, I had a mastectomy, a double mastectomy, along with reconstruction um, and chemotherapy, six months worth of chemotherapy and here I am. I am cancer free and I thank God it's going to be, uh, it's seven years, eight years, um, February 2016 and I'm alive and well. I want to know when you get a mandate that life is over, this is it, this is the end, and God says something different, how is it to live in that space? Well, first thing is it's never end. It's never an end because even if it, if, it, if it stops here, it's eternal life for me. But I never thought ever that I was going to die. I always thought that I had more to do and more to live for, and so I took a positive attitude and I went forward. Uh, so I never spent time thinking about cancer can take me away from this beautiful world and beautiful family and my friends. I just fought it and I just stayed prayerful and here I am. When you take that positive attitude, is that a part of the healing? Oh, very much so. And even those that I know that are going through um, cancer right now, chemotherapy, I always tell them the first thing you need to do is to think positive. Positive thinking will get us through everything. And positive thinking comes through a faith in God and knowing that it's not over until God says it's over. And that's what happened with me. You jumped ahead of me because I was going to ask you for some last words of inspiration. But truly, those people that are listening to this, that will be clicking on this, seeing this, and they have had these kinds and other kind of dis-ease diagnosis, once again, would you give them some inspiration? Sure. Um, it is a dis-ease. It's not a disease. And, uh, you know, for a moment, sometimes we have to be uncomfortable in order to see God working in our lives. We say often that just give God something and God will show you that any, no one else can take care of except God. And you'll know that it works. And it was God. It was God that came into my life and, and took me where I was and carried me and held on to me. And because of my faith in the Lord, it's the only reason why I'm here today. I know that to be a fact. So I say to those that are struggling, stay positive, stay prayed up, get, you know, get people around you that are positive as well as you're going through this because you don't need any distractions, any negative distractions, and just know that God loves us. What a prescription of health and wellness from Dr. Janet Bell Odom. I do know her name. 